Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's video, we're gonna be building this really cool arch expand scroll effect here in Wix Studio. Even though it looks really cool and maybe even complicated, it is actually pretty easy to set up once you understand higher level scroll effects and a sticky position. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Over here, I'm just gonna switch over to my tutorial page and page looks identical, but this middle section is where we're going to actually build the scroll effect. Now, if we switch on over here to this effect, to this uh, section here, you're gonna see it is, it is quite large and it's kind of made up of a few factors. It's a video, there is like this overlay, there's this random container looking thing that's invisible, which I'll kind of explain. And then if we scroll down, you'll kind of see, I don't know if you can really see it with YouTube's compression, but there is this text element here down below. So we're gonna need to build that from scratch. So over here on the tutorial page, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we want to do is go ahead and select a background image or a background video that we want to play. Now I want to kind of let you guys know that we don't want to add this as a media background because this section, well, I'll go ahead and show you why. Let's just go ahead and select, you know, just a basic image really quickly. And to kind of show you, this section is going to end up being like 3,500 pixels. And when we do that, you're going to see how that stretches the image, or in our case, will be a video, and it's not going to look like how we want it to. It's going to look pretty ugly. So what we're going to do is set it up in a different way. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this. And what I want to do is go ahead and add a container over here on to our section here. And for this container, I'm going to turn on the advanced size settings. I like to use the option I on the keyboard uh, as a keyboard shortcut. But if you don't like to do that, another option is coming over here to the size properties, clicking the three dots and then just turning this on right there. But for the advanced sizing, what I want to do is set this to be 100% width. And I want to set the height to 100 VH. And then I'm just going to go ahead and send it to the center and send it to the top. Now, if you aren't aware of what 100 VH is, basically VH stands for viewport. So think about like this. What we are seeing here on our artboard is kind of like a fake device that we're viewing our website on. So it's kind of showing us what our website will look like on a device that is this size, right? But when the website is on a different size of device, then this viewport is gonna take up 100% of that screen size. So it doesn't matter what screen the user is viewing the website on, this is gonna take up 100% of their height on their device. So that is why we want to use 100 VH here. And you'll notice that even if we set the section to be 3,500 pixels, this 100 VH isn't taking up the full section, right? So that's kind of why we want to do that. And what we want to do with that section actually is come down to position type and we want to set this to sticky and we'll just leave it at a 0% offset and stick to the top. So basically what that means is when we press preview and we start scrolling down the website, this gray box is gonna to stick to the top of our website and it's going to follow us all the way down the page, just like we want it to. So inside of this container, this is where we want to place in a video. So we'll grab a video, let's go ahead and stretch it and let's go ahead and change the video out really quickly. Um, I'm just gonna type in like abstract, we'll find some interesting video that we can place in the background. Okay, this seems kind of cool. Um, we might need to potentially add like a container over it, maybe make the background black and then like lower the opacity a little bit because this might be a little too bright. So adding a black container over it and lowering the opacity kind of gives us kind of darkens the background. That way when we add text over it, it kind of shows it a little bit better. If we come over here to the layers panel, let's grab the video box and let's go into the settings really quickly, or let's go over to uh, behaviors. We want the video to start automatically. When it ends, we want it to loop. 
if there is sound, we want to turn this off because this is just a visual video. This is not a video that we actually want people to watch and listen to, right? So this is just a background video. So let's just go ahead and check it out. Let's go ahead and preview it. Once we go ahead and scroll, the video is going to stick to the top of the website. And as we scroll down, it's going to stick with us. Okay, cool. Now I will say something about this video that I did choose. Uh, I thought there was going to be a little bit more motion to it. Uh, so let me go ahead and choose a different video. Like maybe we choose this one here. Let's see what the motion is. Okay. That's a little bit cooler, right? So we'll go ahead and stick with that for now. Now let's go ahead and build the arch that we, we want to build. We don't want to place it in this container with the video box. So with this container here, this is the video. So I'm going to call this one the video. And then if I grab the section, I want to add a brand new container. So we'll just drag it out a new container and we're going to follow the same steps we did to set up this container up here. We are going to turn on the advanced settings. Again, you can press the three dots here and just turn it on manually. And then you can set the width to 100% and 100 VH. Now that we have this section here, we now need to build the arch. The first thing I want to do is actually split this into two grid cells. So I'm going to go to the advanced CSS grid and I'm going to say the layout. We want two by one. So now it is basically split right down the middle. And then what I want to do with this is go ahead and remove the background color because now over here in the left hand side, what I want to do is add a new container. We're going to stretch it and we're going to follow the same steps. We're going to go to advanced CSS grid, toggle this on, and we're going to split this into a two by one grid here and remove the background color. Now over here in the left hand side, what we're going to do is just simply add a container. We'll stretch it and we'll make this white. And what we're trying to do, if you don't want to use white, what I would do is just make sure it matches the background color of whatever you're using, right? So whatever your background color you're using, just try to match this so that that way the sections kind of blend together really nicely and there's not like a sharp edge. And then over here in the right column of the left column, <laughs> what we're going to do is add a shape. So we're going to come over here to decorative and I'm going to go to more shapes and I'm going to type in corner. We're going to grab this one right here. Okay. And we're going to make sure it attaches to the right grid. cell. we're going to send it to the top left. We're going to lock the aspect ratio and we're going to set this to 100%. Perfect. And then we're just going to change the color again to match our background of our section above it and the color of our container over here. And one thing I do like to do with this shape here is sometimes on some screen sizes, not this one, as you can see, but some screen sizes, there's just like a little bit of a gap, like either right here or right here. And you can kind of see the, the background video a little bit. So what I'd like to do is grab this basic shape and I like to come over here to margins and I like to set this to negative one to the left and negative one to the top. And then I'll switch these over to just pixel values instead of the responsive pixels. I think that looks good just like that. Okay. So now we have this container done. Now what I want to do is actually duplicate this container. We're going to make sure we set this over here to the right grid cell. And then I'm going to set all of the margins to zero. Okay. So as you can see, this looks backwards and this is an easy fix. So what I want to do is grab this shape here and we'll send it to the left. Then we'll grab this container here and we'll send it to the right. Okay. We're halfway done. Then we're going to grab this shape here and under adjust, we can easily just flip it horizontally. Okay. And now you can see the, the margin, the little gap that I was talking about. And that's because it's still technically docked to the left and top. For this one in particular, we want to actually dock it to the right and top. And so with the margins, we're going to set this to negative one pixel here. Okay. So now this is our arch and it looks pretty good. If I go ahead and preview the website, which you can see a little gap here, that's why we do the negative one. So that is something I'll fix once we go back in. But if we scroll, this is going to be the effect right now. Okay. 
awesome. Looks exactly how we expected it to. Let's go ahead and fix those gaps really quickly. Just like how we added the negative one margins to this one right here, let's go ahead and do that to this one as well. So over here, we want to do negative one for the left, negative one to the top. We'll leave the right at zero, but then we'll do negative one at the bottom as well. And we'll make sure we switch these over to pixels. And let's just go ahead and do that for this one over here as well. We don't want to do it to the left hand side. We just want to do it to the others. Okay. So now if we go ahead and preview again, we no longer should have that little gap here that we didn't want. Perfect. Now what we want to do is actually expand this arch that we built, right? So in order to do that, what we're going to do is actually add another container over here. So let's just go ahead and do this Add a container. Perfect. And under the layers panel, let's just go ahead and name everything really quickly. We already have the video. Let's grab the arch. We'll call this one the arch. And for this container that we just created, I'm going to call this one scroll container, not scroll container, scroll controller. And the reason we call it that is because this is what's going to control the whole scroll effect, right? So what I want to do is turn on advanced settings. I'm going to set the width to 30 pixels and I'm just going to center it for this. What I want to do is go ahead and set the top margin to 100 VH. And basically what that's going to do is it's going to stick it right underneath our other boxes here, because again, we set these boxes to 100 VH. And if we're setting the top margin to 100 VH, it's basically going to give it enough space for all of this content to reach the top of the box or to reach the top of your screen. And then you're going to see this scroll container. Okay. Then what we want to do is we want to set the height of this uh, container to like, mm, I mean, this is something we kind of play with. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and set the row height of this to VH and we'll set this to like 200 for now. Okay. And what that's going to do is it's going to make the section really, really long. And then what I want to do is go ahead and remove the height of the section. That way it looks just like that. Okay. So now what we want to do is we want to grab this scroll container. We want to head on over to our animation and effects, and we want to add a scroll animation to it. Okay. And we don't want to animate the actual scroll container right? We actually want to add the animation to our arch container. Okay. And what we're going to do is expand out. So let's switch it to out. Let's do expand. Great. So now let's go ahead and adjust the animation a little bit. And what I want to do is just go ahead and set the animation area to zero to 100. And we'll probably have to play with the scale a little bit, but Let's just go ahead and set this to like 240 for now. We might have to raise that or it might be too much. We'll find out in just a minute. Um, but let's just go ahead and back out of this and let's go ahead and preview it. So again, we're going to see that the animation starts right when this arch reaches the top of the screen. So by doing that, it makes it look like the arch is continuing to move upwards, even though it's not, it's actually just expanding. And as this animation finishes, you can kind of see, I think that actually looks kind of coincidentally perfect. I don't even know if I would change anything about that. That looks really good just as it is. Awesome. If you want it to kind of end, like the, uh, if you want this to be fully off the edge by the time you see the next section, then what you could do is just simply come over here to the expand, go to the adjust and then bring in the animation area a little bit. And now you can see it's fully off the edge and then we reach the end of the section. So that is how you would fix that. But honestly, I kind of liked how it looked. So I'm going to revert it back. Cool. Okay. So now that we have the expanding effect, uh, let's go ahead and add our text 
Uh, so all we need to do is go ahead and add a brand new container. We're going to again, turn on the advanced settings. We're gonna set the width to 100%. We'll set the height to 100 BH. And what I'm gonna do is just center it inside of our container. And in fact, I might even add a little bit more space to the top. Let's do like 100 VH. We'll move it down a little bit. Okay. And what this is gonna do is hold our content. So all I'm literally gonna do is just add like a title paragraph. Um, we'll make it white. Um, we'll say, we'll turn on the advanced settings and maybe set this to like 60% width. Make sure it's centered. And what I want to do is just go ahead and grab some lorem ipsum and we'll paste in this lorem ipsum, okay? And then all we want to do with this section here is remove the background color. And we're going to set the position type to sticky as well, okay? And literally the last thing we need to do is grab the scroll controller and we are going to, we can either set the background color to zero However, if you need to go back and change the animations, uh, sometimes it can be a little bit hard to find the container. So what I do is I typically leave the design at 100% opacity, but I'll come down to adjust and set the adjust opacity to zero. So that way you can kind of see it has a, like opacity effect to it, um, but that means when you preview it or publish the website, you're not gonna see it. Uh, but in the editor, it allows us to easily find it so that if we need to ever change or add other animations, we can. And so once we go ahead and preview the website and we scroll, the arch kind of expands, the text comes in, and that is the effect, just like that. Very, very, very easy to do. So that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix Studio content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I'll see you all in the next one.